Welcome to Iowa Live, everybody. We are on location and going to teach you about something that is incredibly cool with a very familiar face. Dr. Vince Hassel is joining us, and we're going to be talking about Des Moines Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Center. HBOT is what they call it, and this is amazing. What is HBOT, Dr. Yep. Hassel? What it is, it's oxygen under pressure. So this is a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, and it puts oxygen under pressure that does so many things to help the body heal. Right, now uh, there's a, a lot of science behind this and this has been around for a little while. Since they? the 1600s and people wow. would maybe know of it for decompression sickness is probably what they have heard of before with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So this is the same concept as that? Same concept, but there's different uh, depths of hyperbaric uh, sessions. Mm -hmm. There's hard chambers and then these are mild hyperbaric oxygen chambers, so they're different depths of pressure. Yeah, and a lot more uh, you know, reasonable and a lot easier to get into, get out of, and get the benefits. Now, what is the science behind this? Why does this work? Yep, the science is we all know how important oxygen is, or at least we should know. So we can live, Lou, how many days without food? What, what uh, uh, 27? And how many days without water? Uh, like three. Yep, and then okay. how long without oxygen? <laughs> four minutes. Oh, so yeah. how important is oxygen to our body? It's the most vital nutrient there is. And so through our circulatory system, arteries, capillaries, and veins, you guys know that's what takes the red blood cells from the lungs to the body to deliver that oxygen. What happens is we're uh, at the mercy of the quality of the microcirculation, the capillaries, for the single file line red blood cells to get through to deliver oxygen to those cells and tissue. Okay. So with aging, inflammation, trauma, stresses, maybe a viral challenge, that was gonna affect that quality of that microcirculation of the capillaries so those red blood cells aren't getting through, so it's not allowing that oxygen to deliver to those cells. So the vessels are actually uh, shrinking. Yes, occluded or shrinking, so then those single file line red blood cells cannot get through. So what happens in hyperbaric oxygen therapy because of the gas laws of physics, we're driving that oxygen into the plasma, and the plasma can reach four times further than what our microcirculation and capillaries can do. Because we're talking about the blood cell maybe being this big, and then but the plasma can go right through where the blood cell can't because go it's through. liquid, right? Right. So what happens is the oxygen, because of Boyle's law. Uh, gases go into smaller bubbles and can fit in smaller spaces. And Henry's law says a gas under pressure held over a liquid, the gas will go into that liquid. So the oxygen goes into the liquid plasma, not in the cell. Okay. And then that liquid can get through that vessel that has occlusion and it doesn't have the quality of the circulation through it. So it takes the cells that are on the other side of that microcirculation. The scientists call those cells idling. They're idling because they're not getting the oxygen to ride the, run the mitochondria and get the ATP function out of that cell. So think about somebody uh, post-stroke and they have a clot. Everything past that clot is now hypoxic. It's not getting the oxygen to that cell, to the mitochondria, for it to rev and function the way it's supposed to. Okay, so the plasma carrying the oxygen can feed the oxygen to where it needs to go. That's absolutely true. And so then what happens between intermittent sessions of going hyperbaric to normal, hyperbaric to normal, now it creates regrowth and regeneration fa factors, something called angiogenesis, which is regrowth of that, that circulation mm -hmm. of the capillaries. It produces is stem cells. Uh, it, it upregulates cell function. It elongates telomeres, which protects our DNA. So not only does it help with so many conditions like people with long COVID, lost a taste and smell, dementia, Alzheimer's, post-stroke, neuropathies, uh, autoimmune disorders, right. autism, cerebral palsy, all kinds of conditions because all this chamber is doing is driving the oxygen to the body and the body can use that oxygen to heal where the body is hypoxic and not getting oxygen right now. Wow, it, it's, it's, it does amazing things and people have been taking advantage of it for quite a long time here. Um, we're gonna be jumping in here and letting people see how this operates and how we get ready for a session. Uh, how do people get more information on this before we get inside here? Yep, real simple. The best is probably to visit the website first. That's Des Moines HBOT.com. Read about the conditions and how many people it can help. It's just incredible. People with stroke, post-stroke, non-talking back to talking, non-walking back to walking, cognitive fish, uh, 
cognitive function back. So Des Moines, HBOT.com, or you can call us at 515-270-2111. I'd be happy to sit down and have a consultation with you and discuss any of your concerns with health and how hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help you with that. All right, we're gonna uh, get inside of here right now and see what has happening as we step in. And so what we're gonna do, uh, Dr. Hassel, is we're putting this on, what is this here? That's a cannula, so that's gonna deliver 93 to 95% oxygen through an oxygen concentrator. So the air that we're breathing right now, the ambient air is 21% oxygen. 78% nitrogen. What happens in the hyperbaric chamber, we put Lou on a cannula of oxygen delivering 93 to 95% oxygen to up the oxygen intake, the oxygen uh, quantity, and then under hyperbaric pressure, that's where the magic happens because it drives oxygen under pressure into that plasma, and that plasma can reach those idling cells and get them to fire, get that mitochondria to fire. All right, why don't you uh Zip us in here, Dr. Hassel, and we'll get ready to go. Uh, this is very interesting, everybody. Uh, it, this is big enough where uh, you can actually have a, a wheelchair device can go inside of this as he's zipping us all in here. Yeah, this is uh, Des Moines HBOT.com. Des Moines HBOT.com. Get all the information there, 515 270 2111, to be able to find out how you can make an appointment and see sit down and find out the details on what Des Moines Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can do for you. Uh, if you're having the issues that Dr. Hassel talked about, this could be the answer for you. As he's getting us all ready to rock and roll in here, uh, this is, he's firing the machines up. We can feel the pressure, we can feel the air coming in right now. This is going to inflate and we're gonna let you know more about this down the road. It is Des Moines Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Center right here in Clive. Don't go too far, everybody. We are gonna be right back. This is Iowa Live.